Good evening, this is the Oscars. We are with Brother Row. It's time to review Emergency. This film is a comedy thriller, I guess you could call it, from director Cary Williams. The film is about two black university students who must weigh the pros and cons of calling the police after they find a passed out white student in their apartment. And a lot of this film is about how their experience in this situation is augmented and exponentially more difficult because they are black. They know that if the cops are involved, it might not go so well. And this film overall does a really good job at putting you in the shoes of these students who have to weigh the consequences of their decisions in ways that white people do not. It's weird to call this movie a comedy because it does start out with that kind of tone, but then as the movie goes on, it turns more and more into a thriller and it becomes very distressing to the point where there were a couple times where they tried to insert comedy and I was like, not now, not now. The film starts out very funny and it has a, kind of like a light vibe that I was really enjoying. And then I like that it sort of takes this darker turn. And I agree, it absolutely becomes a very taut thriller where the stakes are just constantly building and things are looking worse and worse for them. Their grave, so to speak, is getting deeper and deeper. I think they built the stakes to a degree that it was, it was so uncomfortable for me to keep seeing things like go from bad to worse to worse that I kind of stopped having fun with the movie. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. It was maybe stressful to an extent that it didn't need to be. And part of that was because I felt like maybe things were just getting like too hopeless. And then the ways they found themselves out of those hopeless situations sometimes felt a little bit like forced or convenient. I actually don't really agree that it ever felt too distressing. I thought the movie got better as it turned more into a thriller. And it's not that I didn't like the comedy, but at the beginning of the movie, I did have a feeling that this is sort of like a Netflix movie vibe, like a Netflix teen movie vibe. And that faded away from me as it became more of a thriller. And as the movie sort of climbs and climbs, it reaches a very powerful emotional peak. I think distressing is good in this film, but I remember there were some parts where it felt like, oh, what are you doing? Like, why is this happening? There's particularly like a character that is kind of dumb and they feel a little bit like unnecessary that their personality is there to be a little bit of a wild card and shake things up. And that was sort of what was distressing. Like, oh, uh, you just need to get rid of this guy. Sometimes the characters were thinking two steps ahead about their decisions and you're like, okay, good. Like I'm really on board with you. We're on the same page. And other times I felt like, oh, how could you be like that dumb? Like you really should not be doing this right now. I never felt like there was a moment where I knew better than the characters about what to do in the situation. Sometimes um, I didn't know what to do. It was like, just don't do this. Like just stop doing yeah. this right now. It was involving for me to kind of try to guess like, oh my God, like what is the best way for the characters to get out of the situation? But the other really engaging part of the story is the dynamic between the two leads played by Donald Elise Watkins and RJ Seiler. Both are black, but they come from very different backgrounds, where R.J. Seiler's character is much more familiar with dealing with the conflicts between police on a day-to-day -day basis, and Watkins' character is more sheltered, probably grew up in an affluent community, and that clash between those characters gets really interesting. And there's a really emotionally intense moment at the end where these characters really come together and bond, and both performers are really good in this. And those are really the only characters that feel like substantial to me. A lot of the other side characters feel like they're more part of the Netflix movie version of this. I agree. The really interesting thing about this film is showing the diversity within being black and how there's not this universal experience. I liked how as an audience you're forced to put yourself into the skin of another person and see the world as they might see it, where confrontation with the police is the last and worst case scenario. The two lead performances were really good in this. Like you said, the ending, there's a really great showcase for these actors. I love how deep the bond feels between these two male characters. We always like a good male friendship movie. This is a very intense and engaging social thriller that also makes you think along the way and really packs an emotional punch by the end. I think this one's pretty easy to recommend. You know, it's, I think it's very easy to kind of digest as in like you could show it to anybody and they'll probably be absorbed by it and be able to kind of have a discussion about it afterwards. I would give it a seven out of 10. I would also give it a seven out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Are you having an emergency?